<laughs> Come on. Ah, getting dizzy. Oh, okay. Jeez, we're huskies hella fast. God damn it. I don't know what's going on. Last time it starts. It's been sitting and, and then it starts and I don't know why it's... <sighs> Definitely alternator. Okay, I guess all I can do now is give her a good rinse. And I did. I mean, overall the body is still in good shape. No really heavy damage. Because it did suffer through a lot during the winter. The what? The one thing that I worry about the most was that the mold on the inside was growing more. But no, not really. Or not that I can see. Stuff like the seat belt and the seats, um, especially that seat, suffered the most. But it's not growing back. Like the hard plastic, I mean, it'll never grow back in hard plastic. But in the cloth area. It not really growing back either, so that means that we kind of wiped it off and caught it just in time. But overall, the condition is still decent. You kind of see right there, we didn't get that spot. Let me wipe that off real quick. One of these days, I'm gonna have to take out the whole carpet and just give it a good clean, you know? Deep clean. Overall, it could be a lot worse to be honest. I've been neglecting this car a lot and the warm season is coming up and I'm not trying to neglect it anymore. But right now, alternator is um, not really letting the car start. Because there's power, it's letting me able to unlock the car. But it's not enough power just to start the car. But the starter should be good because the last time that it starts, it started up pretty strongly. Um, nothing major is going on, it's just, it is the alternator. I mean, there's interior lighting. Interior lighting is still on, the map light is still on, I mean. There are very little power. I'll give it one more try just to let you guys see. Alarm lights on, map lights on. There's power, just for some reason it's not starting. I don't think it's a starter. I'm pretty sure it is the alternator. But yeah, man, I miss this car so much. I was hoping you will just start right up just so I can get a quick drive. I mean, I can jump it and it will start right away. But the problem with that is, like if I want to go somewhere and I need to turn off the car, I will have to open up and jump it again. But for now, I'd rather not take this anywhere. Maybe for a quick drive, sure, but to go anywhere far, or to do anything for the whole day with this car, right now it's just not, not convenient, I guess. Unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. I was really hoping to take her out for a spin. It's been a while. At least it's still locked. Damn it, that's unfortunate. Oh well, it is what it is. Yeah, it is a really sad day. When you think like the car works because it shows you that it worked last time and then now you start it again, it doesn't. I guess I'll drive her still. I mean, it is 2ZZ, still fun. It is more comfortable than that thing, I can tell you that. But I gotta move those two cars back here. I only moved them just so I can get it out, get a quick wash, but yeah, damn it. For 
today's video, we are changing out the alternator in my MRS, trying to get it running again. So realistically, a week ago, we actually already started it, me and my friend Sam, um, but we found out that there's a um, kind of like a special bolt required for the pulley tension thingy um, to take out the uh, drive belt. And I had to get that order, so it took about two to four days to come in for Monkey Ranch Racing. And it should already arrive at my parents' house, so we're gonna head over there right now. I'm gonna go pick Sam up, and we should get it done by today, hopefully. Right there. The next time you're in Elsie or in this Tristan, you should do the wall pump at the same time. It's like right there. I know, right? Yeah, it's, it's, it's like right next to it. You take, if you take all that crap out, you might as well do the wall pump with it. I'm not even sure if I'm going the right way. Yeah, at least we know how to do it now. Yeah. I'm not sure if I want to do it again though, but. Maybe, I don't know if it's easier next time around. We're better at twirls, but damn. Yeah. Bro, next time, 2ZZ swap. Fuck it, I'm dropping the whole engine. <laughs> Ow, my head. Uh, yeah, 2ZZ will have the oxygen in the same spot too. Just make sure you get a brand new oxygen before you do it. I <laughs> know. <laughs> Everything's gonna be new. Drive the oxygen. I was like, dude, I ain't, I ain't touching that shit. Fucking <laughs> swap it new before I swap the motor in. <laughs> Am I pulling this off right? Oh. Maybe I'm not pulling yeah, up. Slip off the bracket. Okay. So. Is there anything else holding it on? Oh shit, I have to lift it up. I see. I see. Do I see? I don't know. Alright, it's coming. You don't have anything to buy with? Uh, I'm not sure. Where you, uh, use this real quick. Oh, I got it. Okay. Alright, let's go. Oh, shit. There's still one wire attached to it, so when you uh, pull out, make sure you can't clip it, you have to unbolt it. Oh. Okay, okay there's a turbo, there's a nut Is it a for the battery. Yeah, so you see that nut right there? Yeah. Yeah, and you get a, uh, a wrench down to do that, so that's probably what, a 12? Well, we use 12 earlier. See, see the uh, top, top drawer. Yeah, do that nut on top, and don't drop the nut. It's a, it's a 10. It is done? Yeah. Here you can that tight too. I don't have enough muscle for this shit. You gotta push the alternator against something then. Oh, double wrench it then. At least you need to make sure it holds somewhere. Right, let me try this way. Hold on, hold on. Maybe I just need a better angle. There we go. Let's try like this. Yep. There it goes. <sighs> oh, my back. Okay. Moving? Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, yeah that's good. Yeah, just don't drop it. 
Slip the terminal off. Yep, slip the terminal off. <coughs> okay, remember how it goes. This goes on that way. See how the prong, the prong aligns in a slot. Oh. Uh, you see? Oh, that's yeah. alright. Yep, so, just remember it. That's right. Okay. Yep. Yeah, you did it. Woo. Fuck this thing. You can return it for uh, a core. Okay. We just gotta put that bracket back on and then put that thing back on. This is why I don't want to be a mechanic. I thought you guys learned to do all this. Uh, Sam, Sam showing me. I don't know anything. Yeah. Well, Sam used to be a, a Toyota tech. Yeah. Yeah. He got a. Didn't you got a Toyota tech degree? What's that? Didn't you got a Toyota tech degree? Yeah, I got AC certifications. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Nice. That was a while ago, but. I didn't even remember until you brought it up. <laughs> you know, just a fancy title though, doesn't mean that, you know. Well, you have work experience too, right? Like through Toyota. I took one mechanic, mechanic 101, I like to, mm. and I dropped out of school. <laughs> Push the motor in that room. This needs to go in. Tensioner is, uh, I think, when you pull down a tensioner to extend it so you can get the bolt to be straight shot. That's what's happening. Yeah, you gotta push it down as you. Was that a 14 or 17? 17. Come on. 
so mad. Okay. Do you want to tie it? I'll oh, snuggle the top off for the alternator. This one. Yeah. Okay. And after that, we can do a dog belt on. not caught on any other ribs oh yeah it is on the AC compressor pull that back on the AC compressor you notice it's on the side of that pulley it's not inside the groove all the way no no, no. the bottom right an AC compressor below the alternator oh, yeah yeah pull it back into the groove that should give you more room now you can try to see if you get some extra room to slide that on there yeah, it's a tight fit you got to pull it up pretty tight are you pushing it forward mm -hmm. I'm pushing it forward. I think you can pull it backwards, can you? No. Push forward. Oh, it's almost there. It's such a spot. Is it something? position. Yeah. Have to check make sure it's within all the pulleys, it's not like halfway slipped off. Oh yeah, see that? Yeah. Slightly off in the pulley, but let's try to put a ratchet on now. Something shorter, we might be able to get some more out of it. See that belt right under where the crank pulley is? It needs to slip on. See where it's like halfway through? Oh. Yeah, then it's pushed in. Right there. Okay. Is it in? Oh, perfect. Yeah. And I think we can just uh, yeah, double check, make sure all the grooves are lined up and all the pulleys. And this one, you can push it in a little more if you want, but it should be just to be safe, but it should be good for the most part. Is that pretty tight? Uh, let go a little bit? Just tell me a bit. Should be good, right? Yeah, if, so. so long as the rest of the other pulleys are within the groove, it'll self-align itself. That's a spins. Yeah, I think it should be all right. Okay, good. That's like it. We'll chuck it and then we can start putting the motor mount bracket in. That looks good. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Should be good. I'm not sure about the back. I'm not sure Because it feels really flat. I'm not really sure. It's not. You got the top bolt, you got the bottom bolt, you got it clipped in, the only pulley's on. Yeah, I think um, we can start putting that, that motor mount bracket on now. This one's a, this one's a beast too. Put two in. Two in, Drop yeah, it. not all the way, two in, and then we got to put one through the wheel well. Yeah, I think let's figure out what this long one is. There's long ones on top? Yeah. Is it a top one? Yeah, should be pretty good. Yeah, there's I have one here. Oh, that's one top. The long one's a top one, I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, these three are in the bottom. Oh you have another one. Okay, so. 
Yeah, we're just getting started. So we can get them aligned correctly. This one is probably good at wheel work, it's dirty. Yeah. Keep going, keep going. Perfect. Okay, we're gonna go now. Yep. And what we can do is start slowly. Um, yep, we can back out. Can you sign it? Nope. Just leave it. But you can come out and start lowering the motor. Tighten up all these bolts. Okay. And then, um, yeah, tighten up all these bolts, top one, and there's two, and then you might not have to take the wheel off, jack the wheel up, and then it's tightened up that bolt really well, and it should be done. Not as tight as you think it is. Yeah. 76 is factory. Zero. That's it. So the battery terminal is on. Clean up and we'll start it up. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Do the battery terminal fire it up. If it works, it'll charge us off. Oh, it's dropped too, right? 
No, the battery should be good. The alternator is good. The battery is good. The battery is actually new. Alright y'all, so we're back at the usual parking garage that I always go to. Sam was helping me with some photo. I think his phone takes better photo overall than my iPhone. Um, I, I'm an iPhone guy, but I still think Android takes better photo. So. But yeah, we're... Um, I think the video cleans up a little bit while I come close to it. Oh yeah, yeah that's such a good angle. I like that one. What do you think? Yeah, I like that. I'll, I'll send you that one. Yeah, cool. 
But yeah, she's running. And there she is. She's back in the cover. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, the car does right now need a new battery because it's been dead for a few times. So after I got gas, well during getting gas, I have to turn off the car and it will not start. Luckily, I brought a portable jumper with me and with that alone, it does start. Before with that, it wouldn't even start. So with the new alternator, I think it works just fine. Just need a new battery because it's been dead a few times. We did want to do some rolling shots and cruising with our friends, but because it's a Wednesday night, not a lot of people were able to come out. Um, some have work the next day or some in the middle of doing something or some just got off work. I don't know, but it is a Wednesday night. So oh, it's okay though. It's always the next time, but we did able to go to that parking garage, take some photo for Instagram and um, do a little bit of cruising because it's been a while since I drove that car, but it's nice to have it back running. And yeah, hope you guys liked today's video and I'll see y'all next time. Oh, hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. See you all next time. Bye.